Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope you're having a fantastic day guys, and in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you what the Week 8 challenges are for Fortnite Battle Royale. Yes, they have once again actually been leaked. I do also apologize if you hear my son chatting downstairs, he's just kind of playing about. And uh, yeah, before we actually get into the actual leak itself, please do not forget to leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, and especially giveaways and leaks, all that kind of stuff I am very known for. So uh, yeah, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do not miss out on the first information for Fortnite Battle Royale. Anyway, as always, there is actually a place or a website, I'm not really too sure, I guess it's a team called Fortnite Tracker. These people actually go into the in-game files and are able to find out what the Week 8 challenges are, what the Week 9 challenges are, before we actually know about them. And luckily enough, they actually found out what they are this month, and uh, yeah, they're pretty interesting. They're probably the easiest out of the most of them that we've seen in the past, and uh, yeah, I just thought I would give you guys a heads up now so that you guys can prepare and actually plan yourselves on how you're gonna do these things. So the first challenge that we're actually gonna be seeing in the week 8 challenges is search or use a vending machine. That is pretty much it. It's very simple. It is not classed as a hard kind of task at all. All you have to do is simply go up to it with your resources and buy whatever is inside of it. It shouldn't be that hard to complete this one and of course it, with them actually introducing the vending machines in the game it is very likely that yeah they were going to ask us to do this for an actual challenge itself. The next thing is we have to deal damage with explosive weapons to opponents. Now, I don't know whether the explosive game mode will still be about when this challenge is actually released, unfortunately, but yeah, we do actually know that we have to deal 500 damage with explosives, and this is pretty much easy, to be honest, I would say. I mean, if you have a rocket launcher or even a grenade launcher, this can be pretty easy, especially somewhere near tilted, or especially if you're playing duos or even squads. So that is pretty easy, to be honest, guys. And that gives you a five uh, kind of battle star points, I guess, towards your actual battle pass. The third challenge in the week eight challenges is we need to search chests in snobby shores. This is seven chests in this area, and honestly, it shouldn't be that hard. I say that because not many people go to snobby shores, but as soon as they see that this challenge is actually out, they're gonna be going there. So yeah, I guess now that you guys know that this is gonna be a challenge, the minute that they come out, you guys are gonna start dropping down ASAP because Snobby Shores is kind of like a horrible place to deal with opponents, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we have to search seven chests in Snobby Shores and that will actually get you five stars towards your battle pass. Now this one should actually be a little bit different, uh, difficult I guess, and it is called, or it is, visit different taco shops in a single match, and you need to visit three of them in one match. Now I don't know exactly where taco shops are right now, I kinda do, but I don't know exactly where three of them are together, so what I'm actually gonna do guys is I'm gonna have a video next week as soon as this update drops on where to find three taco shops that you can actually complete this challenge very easily at, because I know for a fact that these challenges are the kind of difficult ones to find three of those places in one game is kind of difficult so yeah I will have a guide on that on where the easiest places to find that so if you haven't already subscribed turn on notifications when you do guys other than that we do also have another kind of a uh, hidden kind of area which is called search between three boats and this is uh, apparently a hard task to do and this will get you 10 battle pass points it's pretty much easy. We know where three boats are. It's at Loot Lake, but where exactly the actual star is going to be, we do not yet know. But, but, I will have a video as soon as the update drops on where this battle star is, I promise you guys. So remember, subscribe, turn on notifications, you will not be disappointed. The next uh, actual uh, battle pass kind of thing is Assault Rifle Eliminations. We need to get five of these, and they say that it's hard. I don't know why they say that's a hard task, but, yep, yeah, that's what we have to do. Kill five people with an Assault Rifle, very easy in my opinion. You guys should have no problem with that whatsoever. And then the, finally, the last thing is eliminate opponents in Dusty Depot. And this is also three opponents and it is classed as a hard task, which means that we do also get 10 battle pass things. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for the week eight challenges that have been leaked as of today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I kind of give you a little bit of a heads up on what to expect next week. If you do think that you're gonna have a little bit of trouble with some of these, do not forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. And also, I just had a, uh, I, 
guess it's uh, what's that? Oh no, what is his name? What is his name? The Raven Skin giveaway. I actually did a Raven Skin giveaway. I did get a winner, but unfortunately, the winner couldn't accept the reason or the way I was going to give them the money. So I've had to wait till next week until I gave give them the money through PayPal because it was a different method. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be having a giveaway, a skin giveaway, sometime in the next couple of days because I get paid in around about a week's time anyway. So the money that I owe that dude will come from next week's money. Uh, so yeah, if you do want to be in for a chance of a skin giveaway, guys, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And uh, yeah, that video will be up sometime in the next couple of days. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.